What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, guys, and girl. And I just want to go through this little bit of update that I did get real quickly, okay, about Mr. Alex of Murdoff. This family is going through a lot. And somebody, like I said before, either somebody want them gone or this is all staged. And guess by me snooping around on the internet, a lot of people feel like this is staged. So let's get into it. So Mr. Murdoff, Mr. Alex Murdoff, um, the blogs, not the blogs, the news outlet are saying that he was shot in the head. So I'm just going to go ahead and allegedly say he was allegedly shot in the head. Okay. Um, and he was shot Saturday afternoon, this afternoon on a road in Hampton County. Now, Mr. Murdoch is 53 years old. Okay. He was, um, shot in the head, allegedly, and is recovering in a hospital according to his lawyer, Jim Griffin. A spokesperson for the SC Law Enforcement Division confirmed Murdoch was shot, right? Now, according to Griffin, Alex Murdoch was on his way to Charleston on Saturday when he heard, when he had car trouble and stopped. A truck passed Murdoch, turned around, came back, and shot him, according to Griffin. He didn't know how many shots. The information he said was relayed to him through Murdoch's brother Randy you know Randy is always on the scene of something but we're gonna keep going who called him at 2 15 p.m so um, Murdoch's lawyer said he was able to speak with his family members by cell phone from the hospital now Murdoch was airlifted to the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston the family released a statement on Saturday evening. The Murdoch family has suffered through more than any one family member can. Never imagine. We expect Alex to recover and ask for your privacy while he recovers. And that was the statement. Okay, so the Hampton County Sheriff T. Small, T. C. Small said he could confirm only that someone has been shot. And he said his office is in the first phase of investigating and can't yet release any information on the shooting. Now, I have a few questions and maybe you guys can help me answer this because I have thoughts of my own. Now, as I'm going through the Internet and I'm looking at different people in the comment section of whatever news outlet is on, I look at the comment section, I read them. A lot of people feel like. Alex staged this because if he's going to Charleston or wherever he's going, he's on a road. The road looked like it's like nothing but trees. It looked like you could barely get a cell phone service out there. You know, it has no scenic, nothing, just trees. Um, but some people would think that's a scenic route, but that's just look like it's like a back road. It looks like to me. Um, I'm a city girl, so I don't know what these roads are supposed to look like, but it just looked like a like a road, like something you don't want to be on, right? And the fire truck is there. So he said that somebody passed him, right? Turned back around and shot at him and shot him. But if who who knew he was going to Charleston? Who knew he was taking that role? That's what I want to know. It's like some things are not adding up here. Who knew he was going to Charleston? Who knew he was taking that road? Because why would a truck that just passing through see him working on his car because he had car trouble and he had to change his tire, would just come through and drive, see him, turn back around and shoot him? Like, for what? Who made the phone call to the police? That's what I want to know. Who made the phone call to the police? It's just something don't seem um, right. Okay? Something just doesn't seem right. So, my thing is this. People are saying that it's, 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 it's staged. They feel that Alex staged this. Um, so, it could get the heat off of him of being a person of interest for Paul and Maggie's death. 
okay and like someone said in my comment section you know paul and mag with paul was a problem maggie if there was a divorce in place that's expensive his father just died so you know he, he probably inherited some monies there and if she was to divorce him my goodness you know maggie would go for the killing you know she'll she'll go for the money um and he doesn't want that so maybe you know hey paul got this stuff going on that's causing me and my family issues and he you know did what he did to get rid of him allegedly and then he you know did what he had to do to his wife allegedly now if he didn't pull the trigger with his own hand he hired somebody to do it that's just how i feel about it I don't know how you feel about it, but that's how I feel about it. And now he's on this road going to Charleston and um, somebody passing through on a, a, you know, passing through in the truck, see him, turn back around and shoot him. And then calls, you know, the fire department or the police, hey, somebody is shot on whatever the road and don't give his name whatever the case may be i don't know but it just seems to me that this is it, it does seem to me like a stage now if it's not staged i hope mr murdoff is okay but i just feel like there's something sour going on something in the milk isn't clean okay something is not right and i'm not the only one that feels like this i go around and look on the you know like on the news paper stations and in the comment section, they saying the same thing I'm saying. A lot of people feel that Alex Murdoch stayed, is staging this. So, but you know what? Time will tell. His wife and his son's murder is still unsolved. Okay? Still unsolved. What's going on here? If he didn't stage this, somebody really want to get rid of him. And they want to get rid of his son and his wife all together and now they want to get rid of him if i was the brothers i would be up in my security because you never know they might be the ones to get picked on next you know what i'm saying well i tried to get alex and this didn't work so now i'm gonna go for the other family members they gotta be careful but to me this whole thing stinks something's not right i don't know how you guys feel about it let me know in the comment section you know, this is just crazy. Now, it says here a representative from the Hampton County Fire Rescue told a reporter at the scene that the agency was called there around 1.30 p.m. He declined to give his name. So I'm thinking the fire, the fire, the firefighter um, declined to give his name or the person that called the fire rescue declined to give his name. Because a representative from the Hampton County Fire Rescue told a reporter at the scene that the agency was called there around 1.30 p.m. He declined to give his name. So I'm thinking maybe the firefighter declined to give his name. Well, he doesn't have to if he don't want to, you know. But someone called the fire rescue and said, hey, there's somebody laying up on the road, on whatever road that was. Somebody laying up on the road. And they go there, and it's Alex Murdoff. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys later.